Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the BladeTech Gen 3 Molly Lock. This is the Molly Lock itself. As you can see it says BladeTech Industries, no, not Industries, BladeTech something. What does that say? It says Carry Confident. That's what that says. It's got a really cool looking pattern right there. It's got uh, screw holes front and back all the way through. There it's got the little dual pistols. It opens up and there's the screw holes again all the way through. It's actually really cool. I like how there's a there's like almost like little craters or like fillet cuts in there so that these screws that it comes with, see so here's the studs and screws, they'll actually fit down in there, oops, just like that, so they're countersunk, so that it'll lay flush. But what's really cool is this system right here. It's a bar on two springs. There's one spring, another on the other side, and it just moves up and down. And the way that that works is this side has a little hook in it. You just get it, you kind of press it, I like to help it along a little bit, and it just snaps closed. Obviously it's pretty securely. You just pull this back and then you, well, there I didn't really even have to push. And it just opens up like that. Now, these are the first things I've ever attached to my Molly gear, my little web belt. As you can see, I've put one of them in already. This is the first thing I've ever attached to my belt and this is the first time I've ever attached these to the belt so I'm gonna kind of figure it out with me on camera here as you can see kind of I like this shape it's almost like a I was kind of like scooped oh well wow. see it's kind of profiled a little bit to where it goes in and out pretty easily and just put it on there and you just clip that in and what's interesting is you can just like since there's fabric right here and it wants to lay flush, it's actually trying to go, I like guess trying to open up so you can just pop the little bar up and it already springs itself up and you don't even have to work it open with your fingers like I thought you would have to. So this is really cool guys. All right, now onto the fun part. Getting this sheath off of this belt loop and onto these guys. First of all, we're going to take these little screws out. Interesting side note, this is the screw out of the belt loop holster. And this is a screw that came with my Molly Lock. As you can see, they are different lengths, significantly so. Jeez, this autofocus is terrible. Uh, okay, whatever. You guys get the idea, right? Alright, so... I'm just gonna open this thing up real fast. Oops, oh, I'm sorry. In case some of you guys have never seen a tech lock system before, I know I had until very recently. You have to... This is terrible. Over there. All right, well, anyway. So you take this little locking piece, you rotate it back, you pinch these two parts together uh, to open it up. And since I'd already unscrewed the screw, the little post that the screw threads into comes out right there. And then here is your tech lock uh, belt loop. You can, like these two little pieces right here, actually determine the width of the belt that it attaches to. And as you can see, there's a whole like, almost like a ladder rung of spots that this guy can hook into. So you can hook this up to pretty much any belt from like uh, two inches maximum to theoretically no belt at all. So I mean, this thing is a really, really interesting very, very universal, very modular, very well thought out design that a uh, Blade Lock has, or I'm sorry, Blade Tech has in their Tech Lock design. So 
This is an extremely smart piece of gear right here. But I can't like I can't really carry this knife on my person all day in public, so I'm gonna set that off to the side. And that's why I'm putting it on my little uh, battle belt thing. So now I've already got one piece on there. I don't really know if I should have done that, but oh well, too late now. Now I want to decide how I want to mount it. I think I'm gonna put it like that. So what I'm gonna have to do is pop this guy back off. Now let's see, it's gonna go like that. So this is the outside, put it on there. Find a way to find two of the holes that match up. Ah, just perfect. You guys see that? Right there, right there. So I guess if I open it up so the light will come through. Yeah, that's gonna work out perfect. Okay. Well, maybe I'll put it like that. Yeah, either way, I'm gonna put it like that so it's at a little bit of an angle. Now the question is, okay, so here, I think I put these little seats down in there, maybe, maybe not, huh, I don't know. Okay guys, I figured it out. Since the screws, like since the screw holes in this guy are countersunk to where the screws lay flat, darn focus there we go so you can see the screws are countersunk to where they will lay flat inside of the actual inside of the molly lock so that means that the backing or really the the posts that they thread into are going to have to go on the outside of the holster which is kind of opposite to the uh see like this is actually just your female is just threads you can see the screws starting to come out the threads are exposed this is actually kind of counterintuitive and backwards to the way that the belt holster or belt slide holster worked so I'm going to use these little rubber washers that came with it and go right there in between the holster and the molly lock let me just pop this guy off real fast so I'm gonna take this out so I can put him on right there. So I can put him right there. And then where'd my little post go? There it is. Put it back. Oh crap! Well, that one's gone. It's a good thing I've got extras, right? Uh, put it right there. Maybe I'll put it right there. Who knows? All right, there we go. Starting to thread. Spin it on. Get my screwdriver out. Tighten her up. There we go. Now I'm just going to wiggle it right in place. Right to that one. See that? There we go. Well, Maybe if it's not focusing, but you can see the things that's focused on through the hole, so therefore it must be right. I kind of like this, you know? This will be interesting. So then, of course, it's just going to slide on right like that after I get this other screw in there. That'll be interesting. <laughs> 